Hi guys, welcome to another episode uh, interview with artists and uh, today is a new brand episode but I am in Silverton and I have Lee with me who is a lovely artist and I did see her some of the art that she had created and it's beautiful. So, so let's, let's find out what she's up to. Hi Lee, welcome. Hi. <laughs> Tell us, like why do you live in Silverton? <laughs> The long, long story, but a short story is my mother's sister uh, moved here many, many years ago and bought, bought the actual Silverton Hotel. Um, so as I'm not from here, we used to come here a lot to visit other family members. And over the years, I've just fallen in love with the Outback. I have left a few times and come back. My husband actually fell in love with it. Um, and he wanted to come back this time. So we moved back here about 16 years ago and set up the gallery. Yeah, mm. that's amazing. And it's not difficult to actually fall in love with the art bar. No. No, it is not. The <laughs> question is art related uh, questions. Mm. So the first thing is what type of art do you do? I work with glass mainly. That's the medium I use. Um, yeah, I was, I, well, I initially wanted to be an art teacher when I left school, but I changed my ideas when I saw everybody else in my class and thought, oh, no, I couldn't do that. Um, and I've tried various other forms. I haven't got the patience to paint. I get frustrated at the, um, I suppose, how slow it takes to get anywhere with it. Whereas glass, you can just cut and build and, and it just appears a lot quicker. Oh, okay. Do you conduct classes even now? Not now. No, I have done in the past, but I just don't seem to have the time for that. And because of the distance from here to anywhere, it's um, yeah, a bit hard to... to to get the right day, the right time for the amount of people that you really need to have a little class. Yeah, so for a glass painting, how long does it take for anything? Like if you have to do kind of this big glass painting, how, does, uh, how long does it take? Well, it doesn't, doesn't actually take long if you've got something in mind that you want to do. The, 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 the design is always the, the first piece that takes the longest. Um, and then firing, because I also do warm glass work, which we're using kilns, so you've got to know um, the compatibility of your glass, how it expands and contracts, how to heat it without making it explode, yeah. and the same with cooling it as well. There's a bit of science involved in it. Mm. Okay. Lead lighting's different. I mean, that's that's there's no heat involved in that. It's a matter of just putting pieces together like a yeah. jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay. And uh, just one more question. I had done a glass painting a long time ago mm -hmm. and the paint started to come off after a few years. How do you protect it? Um, well, that depends on what sort of glass paints you use. There's various sorts. There's um, enamel, there's alcoholic alcohol uh, inks uh, and there is another one but I can't remember the name of that and that one tends to come off. It just chips off. Um, uh, a lot of people do what you call capping. You put a, a sheet of clear glass over the top or crushed glass and that will fire on top of your paints and that way they'll be protected and you can't scratch it off. So whoever your teacher was, was very good. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Actually, I didn't have a teacher. I just learned ah, it from YouTube. <laughs> okay, so YouTube's not that good. <laughs> we, tried, yeah, we tried to do the website thing, but that it's too hard to up upgraded all the time um, we do have a Facebook page which is beyond 39 dips um, but otherwise here in Silverton we, we do we have lots of visitors every day we're open seven days a week okay um, and that's yeah now's now's the time usually March to October is pretty good thank you so much You're thanks welcome. a lot for this quick interview <laughs> thank you